Okay, we're at Aldi now. I still have the 99 cents, so I'm gonna grab three. These mushrooms I love, and they are $3.99. for the turkey and these are $3.79 a bag. Need some garlic and that's $1.49 for three. I wonder, I think I'm okay on celery. Let's see, potatoes. I'm not sure how much the potatoes are. Oh, $3.49. I have some from a local farm, but I'm wondering if I don't have enough, so I think I'm going to get a bag. These brown and sir rolls are $1.25. I was thinking of making my own, but I'm going to grab one of these to be safe. Last week I was here and grabbed one of these coffees. They're $4.19, which is even cheaper than the Walmart brand, and they were so good. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a hazelnut today. for my husband in the mornings to make it easier for him. And these are also $4.19. They have their pie crust on sale for $1.79 for a two-pack. So I'm actually going to get two of these. I also have the breakfast sausage, so I'm going to get one of these, $2.19. This beef stew meat kit for $8.99. I don't know if that's the price for the whole thing. This was $3.49 a pound. This would be good for today. Let me see. We have the butter right now, $2.99. So I'm going to grab some of the unsalted. Okay, so we also need some cream cheese, and that's $1.19. So I'm going to get. That's a different one. So I'm getting milk, and I don't know why, but the 2% is $2.78 and the whole is $3.18. Normally they're the same price. Also grab some eggs, and they are $1.18. Okay, so I'm getting an extra turkey, and the butter balls are only 99 cents a pound, and I need about a 20 pound one. So let's see. Okay, hold on one second. I'm gonna get one of these garlic and herb rice cauliflowers for my dinner, for one of my dinners. If you're looking for some winter stuff, they have like towels, $12.99, the rugs and towel set, $14.99. Ooh, they have some slippers, $6.99. Those would be a good stocking stuffer, actually. Do these fleece blankets, $12.99. Oh, look, they even have a dress or something here, which I've never seen that here before. Oh, some lounge jogger men's pants, $9.99. We even have some coats here. I already got coats for my kids. Um, but they also have uh, boots here. And I did bring my daughter last week and got her snow boots from here. They were only $14.99, which is a great deal. Oh, look, we have some more of those sequin dresses. That's kind of cool. So now we're at Target and I was here trying to look at these like chargers and placemats and things like that. But because I need 10 of them, I was not liking the prices, you know, because you figure $6 a mat times 10 is 60 bucks. <laughs> so I was not wanting to do that. Plus I needed some like table napkins and, you know, just things like that. So although I really like them, I knew that I was able to find you know, maybe some more expensive options on some other plates, places. These ones were a little bit cheaper at $3, but I didn't want square. Okay, so I just got home. Target, 
could not find what I wanted. I was not willing to pay that amount <laughs> for those things. So I'm gonna either go to Marshalls or Ross or figure out another option. But this is my Aldi haul. It was $112. And these were actually $8.99. And now I wish that I would have gotten a couple even for the freezer. Um, so I may have to go back this week and get them. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got. Well, I'm gonna hand it over to my daughter and she's gonna do the grocery haul. <laughs> we got two of these lemon soup, 12 pack rolls, a large grade two egg with an orange juice with pineapple, home styled raspberry lemonade, home style regular lemonade, and a 1658 pound turkey, sweet tango apples, stuffed baby bella mushrooms, artichoke and spinach cheese blend, one thing of strawberries, two plain original cream cheese, two two pack pie crusts, These baby, baby Bella mushrooms, medium roast coffee, home style raspberry lemonade, hazelnut ground coffee, milk, cauliflower, garlic, and herbs. Winks. Three things of green beans. Two things of four pack butters unsalted. Three things of, of cranberries. Two pumpkin spice cream cheeses. And a beef stew with vegetable fat. And a bag of potatoes. <laughs> all right and we also got a pack of water but i think that's still outside so these um i'd gotten gosh i think like four or five of these last week and i put those in freezer bags to freeze them um these ones i'm going to use one for the it's like jalapeno cranberry dip and you put it over cream cheese and it's so good then the other two i will i think one of them i'm going to use to make some cranberry cream cheese bread and then freeze another one of them because we can always put them to make dried cranberries. And then um, these, I'm hoping the green beans will last until Thanksgiving. Let's see here. And I think, oh, these, I like to have like two or three for dinner with a salad or I'll cut up two of them and make an omelet in the morning with them. So I really like having these. And with the green beans, some of it I'm going to use for a green bean casserole and then one bag, I'm gonna do the green beans with some cut up baby bells with some garlic um, as one of the Thanksgiving sides since I'm trying to cut back on some of the things. And these sweet tangos we have discovered, they are our absolute favorite apple. So, I mean, we eat them daily. So that's why we are so glad that Aldi carries them now that the uh, local farms don't. And here's all of our stuff for today. We'll see you. So here I'm using cinnamon, I have some raw honey, and some butter, and I'm just making like a cinnamon honey butter spread for some of these rolls that I got from Aldi, and then I'll brown them in the oven. I did get two, I'm glad I got two packs. I got two packs for Thanksgiving, but since I was making this like roast stew thing that I got from there, then my husband asked for rolls. So I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and make some of this butter, and, um, you know, just kind of put them on with those. And it came out so good. My kids were so happy that I made it. I'm definitely going to be making this for Thanksgiving also. Okay, so now the um, like cinnamon honey butter is all done. Then I'm letting all the steam out of the pressure cooker. And the roast and the potatoes and carrots hopefully are all cooked. And uh, the, what is it called? These biscuits, I pulled them out a little bit before they were done browning, just because I want to put them back in for a minute or two when my husband gets here. Um, that way they're, you know, warm for him and all of us are going to eat together. 
So I will show you the roast as soon as that is done steaming out. Okay, this just got done. So now we can open it. All the steam. Oh, yep, that is definitely done. Thank goodness. Everything's tender. Looks like everything is cooked. I may add a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's good to go. So this part's going to look a bit funny <laughs> because I have this little like finger clip thing on my phone and it was tapping the whole time while I was talking apparently. So I'm going to have to be aware of that and not let that happen again. So I did not want that to interrupt, um, you know, the video. <laughs> so I was basically explaining that that honey, butter, cinnamon spread that I was making, um, the recipe did call for powdered sugar, but I didn't want it to add any more sugar than we need, you know, and it was still perfectly sweet from the honey. So other than that, you know, I also didn't really follow the the measurements. I just kind of little of this, little of that until I felt it was good and it came out so good. So um, also I was explaining that on Amazon, I found that they have the table settings and things like that on sale and just some really good deals. So I was able to get what I needed from there for a much cheaper price. Also the chargers that I wanted, I ended up finding those at the Dollar Tree and I got the gold ones. So, but yeah, that's about it. So if you need anything, then I would definitely take a look there and I will see you on my next clean with me.